because I've been on both sides of the of the fence, there's just so much more that unless the head coach wants to share various uh, uh, parts of the hierarchy of the coaching model, assistant coaches really don't have to be concerned about a lot of the the meat of the program. I mean, sure, when I've been an assistant, I've been given things to do, uh, work on travel, uh, make sure that um, airplane tickets, uh, meal money, uh, check on the grades and be the academic liaison. But even though it can be spread out to the staff, it all comes back to the head coach and the head coach still has to formulate all this information he's disseminating and, and has to be responsible for it. So everything eventually gets laid at the feet of the head coach. And as a, uh, I found that as an assistant and as a head coach, the one number one thing that I was taught uh, by my mentors is that if you're going to be a, a great assistant coach, you have to be. My head coach once told me, one of my head coaches told me, he says, I don't care if you can coach. I can teach you how to coach. You got to have my back. You have to be mm -hmm. loyal. Mm -hmm. And you have to be. So every time you open your mouth, it should sound as if I'm saying it. And yeah. one of the things that assistant coaches, young assistant coaches, the mistake they make is if there's a workout on the board and the kids ask the assistant, why are we doing this? And if the assistant coach says, well, that's what Coach Vini wants, that's not an that's not an affirmation. That's actually a put down because mm -hmm. you're saying, well, that's what Coach Vini wants. And now, if it was me, mm -hmm. I learned very quickly when kids would ask me as assistant, why are we doing that? And I said, that's that's what we do. Mm -hmm. It's what we do at Northridge. Yeah. You know, I didn't say, oh, well, that's what Stramitz wants to do. This is what we do. And having that loyalty and being the head coach, I am, and I tell people up front, I'm a micromanager. I do. I, 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 but I've learned to admit that I'm a micromanager, tell my assistants that I'm a micromanager. You know what my assistants do? They send me emails. They, they send me a text message and they tell me that everything is cool and they don't wait for me to ask. And it really, really helps me be able to focus on some of the things that are out of their hands. Scholarships, um, like I said, uh, being able to fundraise. And there are so many things that the head coach has to be because if something does go sideways, it's always the head coach first mm -hmm. that, he, that it gets taken care of. Assistance can come and go, but the head coach is, is got to have their heart, their finger, not only on the pulse of the team, but of the college or the high school or wherever they are. So I think the, the real specifics are that the assistant coaches are given jobs to do, but the goals and culture of the program starts from the head coach. Yeah, very important. Just a couple of comments on the piggyback on Tony. I, I learned that really quickly. You you have to be loyal. That was my biggest deal was being loyal. Um, John Elder was my first head coach. It was great. We, me, him, and Coach Kamaka, rest in peace, rest in heaven. We would have some drag out arguments in the office, you know, with the door closed. And I would say what I had to say. But I tell you what, when that door opened, I was on Coach Elder's page. I was, you, you know, I would tell him my opinion, but then I said, all right, Coach, I told you what I think, and I'm riding with it. You know, I'm riding with you. I just want to tell you, you know, I want you to let you know this is my thing, but I'm writing what you got to say. But I wanted to do my input. Um, I was a, I was a, as a head coach a little less micromanaging. I wanted my assistants. Uh, John Elders, you learn like older coaches or guys who do that for a while, they do a lot more. Like Scram did stuff. He did it so long, he would just do it. Elders was the same way. So for me, when I became a head coach, there's a lot of things I didn't know how to do. And I had told myself, when I become a head coach, I'm going to teach my assistants. I'm going to prepare right. them to be a head coach. Because I always knew they'd leave after two or three years or four or five years. So right. I wanted to prepare them when they went to an interview. They could say, hey, I did this. I did entries. I did fundraising. I did this. So I I would, I you know, I, I manage them. But I was a lot more like, hey, you're going to do travel. You're going to do this. And make sure you do it right. You know, and then I'd follow up. So. I, I was that way, but loyalty was one. You have to be on the same page as the staff. You have to have each other's back. And yeah, you can't say, oh, well, Coach Vini said this is a workout. That is the wrong answer. 
for any young person or a coach, you know, um, you might feel that way. You need to keep that to yourself. Absolutely. Absolutely.